What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to get hired as a video editor in 2019 using three really simple steps. So if you're excited for this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. I would say let's get started right after the intro. Hey guys, so this topic has been requested a lot because you guys probably know that I also edit for other bigger channels on YouTube and for companies. I've been an external video editor for other people for about a year now, a year and a half. And people have always been asking me like how I did it and how they approached me or how did I, you know, ended up working for them. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's move on to step number one. <laughs> Right guys, so the first place you need to start is with your actual editing skill set. If you're not confident in your editing abilities, then you'll need to spend more time taking courses and starting your own projects until you feel like your skills are up to par. Whether it's watching more of my tutorials, you can find in the card right now on the top right. Because the best way to learn video editing is by actually doing it. Open up Vegas Pro, just mess around with the software, try out different things because this means getting footage or shooting your own choosing an editing program and getting to work keep in mind that having an understanding of the entire filmmaking process will only improve your skills as a video editor you need to know more about storytelling directing lighting and audio because that's really what a film or a project puts it together if you're looking for a more guided approach to your editing education then there are plenty of tutorials available from sites uh, such as YouTube which you can find in the description as well because let's say the client that you want to work with is asking a specific thing you need to be capable of doing that in Vegas Pro or in any other software that you're using so it's really really important that you are skilled enough that is basically the first step guys master the program and let's move on to step number two <laughs> right software is pretty important because if you don't have a connection with the software it's going to take you ages to get it under control because there are dozens of different editing apps you can choose from the software you use doesn't matter as much as what you're able to do with it but still there are some industry standard pieces of software you want to be aware of so the software that we're all probably using i think like 99 percent of the people watching this you guys are all familiar with vegas pro vegas movie studio any other software produced by magix to edit your video and I'm not saying that you should use the most complicated or the most expensive software out there in order to be eligible to be a video editor for some for someone big, but you have to just keep you just have to get the job done and it doesn't really matter in which software it is. And guys, I want to mention that Vegas Movie Studio 16 launched. I'm working on the walkthrough. If you want to pick up that software and if you want to grab some 15% off, you can use the code HelloVMS16 and get 15% off Vegas Movie Studio 16. The link is in the description. But if you want to go ahead and get started and you don't feel like investing cash up, you know, up front in editing software, for example, buying really expensive programs then you can probably get away with using iMovie or Windows Movie Maker which typically comes pre-installed on most Mac and Windows machines so guys use the software that you're most comfortable with that's really really important because that's going to make your workflow the fastest so let's move on to the last step which is step number three <laughs> Okay, so now that you have mastered your skills, you chose the right software, you're ready to work for someone else. The other question is, how much would you charge them? Pricing for editing will vary based on your experience and the actual scope of work. It will depend on the outcome your client is looking for and will increase depending upon the complexity of the project. So it doesn't really matter if you're using a project that's going to take you, for example, 50 hours. You can ask just a flat rate fee, a one time you know, payment, or you can ask a price per hour. Now, according to Indeed, video editors in the US make an average of two $22.25 per hour and roughly $200 per day. This means that you can either ask, for example, an amount per hour, or you can say, okay, for this project, I need 50 hours to get it done. And this job is going to cost you $1,000. I will put the $1,000 on the invoice. 
so what people are paying for is pretty simple. It, it contains importing, logging, and tagging the video files, doing a rough cut to pare down workable footage, revisiting, revising your initial cut, enhancing colors and mixing the sound, doing a final video review and compressing your video, rendering, exporting, checking on mistakes, everything like that is included in the process that they're paying for. So guys, make sure to follow all these three steps. If you're not sure what to ask for your work, just ask the person that you want to work with, for example, what their budget is per hour or just a flat rate fee. Don't be afraid to discuss things. And that's really, really important, guys. Communication is key in this job because you want to deliver the work that they desire because that's why they hire you that's why they pay you so guys that's it for this video thank you so much for the continued support i'll catch you guys tomorrow in a brand new vegas 16 tutorial as always on wednesday so i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>